Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and I'm here with your weekly readings. I just want to say that remember please that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided, everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles can be reversed and you can actually be connected with you and your person and with that said just please take what, uh, whatever does resonate and leave out whatever does not and remember please these are general readings so they're not meant to resonate with everybody yet let's take a look at what the universe has for you before i start let's take a look at your past real quick capricorn just a real quick look at your past i do apologize for the ac noise i'm gonna try to remove it as best I, as i can from the video but it's super hot here in wisconsin and i cannot sit here without ac so i do apologize for that so with that said let's take a look at capricorn's past please and thank you spirit please thank you there we go we got the knight of swords in reverse the emperor here we got aries energy right away we got the eight of cups um Sorry, you could have been doing it with a copy. I mean, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We got the magician air sign uh, elements such as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got the two of cups right here, and the five of cups. Oh no, there was a heartbreak situation here with the nine of swords right here and the emperor right here. It's like you were willing or unwilling to see the truth colors of your person because you did not want to believe it or you really believed or truly believed that they were better that they were actually or that you wanted to truly believe that it was not happening or you were trying to believe whatever they told you they were saying they were telling you because this person was seems to be a little bit narcissistic a little bit selfish in a way with eight of cups right here for a while the love that you have for them blinded you and you were not really aware of what was going on the magician and the two of cups right here but i feel but i feel like this person was a really good manipulator because i mean even though that they were not really honest they were shady and everything they get you really in love i don't know they were actually really good with their words they were really manipulative and that's why you stayed in this connection for such a long time. But with the five of cups right here. But you were you I don't see you being happy with them. You something was up that was making you feel unsatisfied and really sad. Really, really sad. We got the page of swords and the moon card right here, Pisces energies. This could be that you knew that this person was uh lying to you. You knew something was up with this person because I don't see you being happy with them. You were really heartbroken here. So that's what happened in the past. I think you took some sort of action, whatever the action was, and you found out the truth. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see what's up. All my readings are going to be pretty long because I do, you know, past what's going on with a person, and I'll do new love, career. So if you want to skip the past and everything, you want to go a little bit further to my video because that's where you're going to find the you know new stuff and career and whatnot so with capricorn again can you tell me what can you tell me for capricorn these are going to be the messages of your person your person is the person that you thought about or the image that crossed your mind whenever i said it so these are the messages that i'm not telling you or maybe whatever they don't want you to know you know so let's take a look for Capricorn. What can you give me here? Thank you so much. Career change. Then we got stop worrying about the situation. The universe will multiply everything you need. Just be patient. So I feel like your person is about to move. You know, getting a career change. And I don't know what I got, but this person is going to move. And you don't know that. So we got stop playing games with my mind. I can't do this anymore. Then we got fire elements, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Then we have, listen, this is not your customer service line. I'll slap you if I have to. So somebody feels really fed up here. Then we got no more hiding. 
Then we have find your worth. And last one says, not everyone will be part of your story. Sometimes the, they will be just a chapter, like I said before. So at the bottom here, we got, I am not giving up on us. And then we have, I knew we belonged together since the first time I saw you. And that's what I'm getting. This person, person, this person knows what to say, especially when it comes to you. This person is manipulative. This person has narcissistic tendencies. This person could be a, a little bit ish. You know, I don't want to make it so big. But they are selfish, okay? They like to play uh, mind games, you know? Like, I don't know. They, they might, yeah, they like to do that. Okay, so let's see what can you give me about the situation, Spirit. What can you give me for Capricorn here? Just please one or two cards at a time. Please and thank you. Sorry, please and thank you. Thank you so much. So we have the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Energy. Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Five of Swords in Reverse as well. And then we got the Page of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Pentacles. And the Chariot right here. This is Cancer Energy. So we got this person is telling you all of these things. That they're putting all this effort. That they want to change. I see nonstop trying to reach out to you. I see them, oh my God, trying to call you a lot. Messaging you a lot. Sorry. They're going to tell you that they miss you a lot. Like, I see them wanting to talk to you, you know? Like, I see them also playing the victim card, so you want to be careful with that. Like I said before, um, they want to make you feel bad in a way, so you actually accept the message or unblock them or talk to them, you know? This person is giving me, like, they know what they, they're telling you. It's like they know that's what you want to hear, and that's why they're saying this. This is telling you right here that you have to be aware and have a lot of, like, your intuition. It's not, never, your intuition never lies, okay? Your intuition never lies, so you just please listen to it. That's the best thing. With the Six of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, pretty much they don't know what to do without you. This has a lot of codependency um, issues here in between you and them. There is a really big codependency situation here in this connection, which is not healthy. Most definitely. With the two of pentacles right here. This is uh, on really unbalanced here. This connection is quite a little bit of a mess. This person is unbalanced. This person does not play like a team. And what I'm saying like relationship you have to see it as a teamwork. Right? Like a team member. You both put the effort. You both want to make it work. You both fix when, whatever needs to be fixed. But it has to come from the bottom of your heart. Okay? And this person does not do that. This person is just like, they just say it because they want, they know that's what you want to hear. And that's the way to get you back. But I, this person is like not honest whatsoever. You got to be careful with that. With the five of swords right here, they haven't, they don't really, they don't really feel sorry for how things ended. They don't really feel sorry how they treated you because in their head, they didn't do anything wrong. And that is the big thing when people are on willing to acknowledge their mistakes that is when change cannot happen because in, in their head they see themselves as i have done nothing wrong so how do you expect this person to change when in their head they haven't done anything so that is one of the red flags that you have to not forget or not like you know avoid with the page of pentacles right here you really want to believe them you really want to believe them, and I do understand that, but but they're lying to you right in your face. I'm sorry. With the Nine of Pentacles right here, and the Chariot right here, they have not put any single effort. They're not going to put an effort to make you feel wanted, to reassure you that they changed, to reassure you or reassure your happiness. They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that because they don't put effort. This person does not put effort. This person is not gonna put effort because they don't want to. It's a choice because they feel they haven't done anything wrong. Whatever they're telling you is because they know you wanna hear that. That is the problem here. And like I said before, I do feel bad about telling you this situation, but sometimes people, the people who care for you the most is the person who's gonna tell you how it is. 
at least with this person, they're not gonna change. Now, will you take them or not? That is on you, 100%. You have the right to take this person back as many times as you want because it's your life. But just FYI, they're not gonna change because they're narcissists. They are narcissists. And it's really hard for those people to change because half of the time they don't understand that they did something wrong. They always want to put it, they're going to blame work, they're going to blame you, they're going to blame everybody but themselves. And that is the big, mis the big mistake. That is the first problem where you cannot admit that you did something wrong. What is this person's real intentions with Capricorn here? We got six of pentacles right here. Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, then we got the Four of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords, again the Magician in reverse. So right now they really are struggling, If you let's say you guys live together and you guys are separated right now living in different places this person needs you because they don't know how to do anything without you they literally don't know how what to do without you they're completely lost that's why the codependency is also there because if it's not if you're not there they just don't know how to do it they don't know how to do it with the queen of wands and the seven of cups right here you were the one who run everything let's say from kid like from the kids if you had kids from everything you did a lot and this person did not did not appreciate it they thought like oh whatever you know but right now with the seven of cups if you guys were separated for a while or so and let's say that this person tried to see other people they re they realize that not everybody will do the things that you do because when you do things like taking care of your person cooking all that you do it because you want to because that's how you show how you love them how much you love them so this person realized that they were really lucky to have you and they let you walk away so it's like oh my god how can i get this person back with the ace of pentacles right here no honey it's not gonna be a new beginning it's not gonna change it's not gonna nothing is gonna change with this person if you take them back yes you're gonna have a relationship with them but it's not gonna change whatsoever everything is gonna go back to the same situation that you maybe were invested not too long ago so keep that in mind that this person is not going to change with the four of ones right here they want you back in the house they want you back in this relationship because it makes them happy and they feel like you guys should be together it's like in their head they feel like you guys should be together and that you should not find nobody else so it's because they want you you know what i'm saying they want you with them and that is not love because it's like they want you we got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. They're telling you that, oh my God, you're driving me crazy. You're going, you're making me go through all of this. Um, and the Ace of Wands right here, you're trying to think about if you should take this person or not. Or not. And don't be surprised if this person does not respect your privacy because they don't want you to realize that they're not the one. They don't want you to realize that there's something out there better that, than them. You know, they don't want you to do that with the queen of swords because they don't want you to take an action to actually make a decision which is probably cutting the cord with them you know and moving on from them so they're gonna keep on bothering you and bugging you because they don't understand personal space because they just are narcissist people you know and also they are aware that if they give you that much time you're gonna actually persuade things and you're gonna actually find perspective and just like think about it overthinking analyze it and then you're gonna realize that you deserve better and then you're not gonna take them back so they're gonna do their best or <coughs> sorry they're gonna do the best that they can just to stop you from leaving you know so that is what narcissist people do and the magician right here no they don't really mean what they say they say like, oh, you don't worry about it. Whatever we've been through in the past is old. It's it's gonna be different. It's gonna be a lie. And the four, and we got the king of one. I'm sorry, the king of cups right here, and then the five of ones right here. Yeah, they're gonna be so lovey dovey, but at the minute that you come back again, give it a week or so, you guys are gonna be arguing a lot, back and forth, being unhappy on the same situation that you are, or that you were not too long ago. So, again. If you want to repeat that loop, if you want to repeat that cycle, you know, you can go and get them because this person is not going to change. They are narcissist people. 
So unfortunately, that's actually what I got for you, you know? Let's see what is the outcome. Let's see if the outcome could be different, you know? Like, so what is the outcome in between uh, Capricorn and this person? We got the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor in Reverse Aries Energy, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and one more for the overall energy, please. Thank you, Spirit. The Strength card in Reverse of Leo Energy, Page of Wands at the bottom, and Four of Swords. So they're telling you to, to uh, your ancestors are telling you to meditate and think about things better before you go ahead and take this person back with a wheel right here with a nine of pentacles they're gonna repeat the actual or usual pattern which is whenever you leave or whenever you're about to leave they come back again promising you the world being kind being really caring but it's something that you are familiar with because this is something that they do every time they're about to lose you with the emperor right here even the personality change their priorities will change for a week or so they're gonna be really sweet really caring but deep down they haven't changed so as soon as like i say a week or so passed they're gonna go back to being that emperor and with the page of pentacles right here you're gonna be really excited whenever you uh see this side of them that you think is something permanent but we'll look at this with the page of pentacles what you're giving is something really temporary okay this person is going to go back to the usual self because this is just an act and for the five of pentacles you're going to be in the same situation feeling left out feeling unwanted feeling sad feeling unsatisfied feeling unloved all of those feelings you're going to go back to that if you take this person back and you know that with a strength card this person tends to uh, attack your self-love making you feel that you don't do anything they make you feel like you don't you don't actually matter and this is what they do because they don't want you to see how beautiful how amazing how strong how capable you are don't let nobody make you feel less than a person because you are the best thing in this world like every every single one of us deserve love deserve respect and deserve to be pretty much pretty much uh appreciate it and this person does the opposite because they feel that's the only way they're gonna keep you around and I don't know that is messed up to be that kind of person you are dating a bully that's what you're dating whoever you're dealing with is a bully and you deserve a lot better you don't deserve this person and I know it's you love them maybe or this is what you've been this person you've been with this person for a while but the new is always scary, but there's something better. I can assure you that there's something better out there than this person. I mean, you're de dealing with a bully here. This person that you like is a bully, and you know that. And um, like I said before, I'm not going to judge you for your decisions because it's not my job. But please uh, reconsider. So let's see what it's about. Um, so let's see. Let's see for new love. What do we have? for new love for Capricorn let's see what oh, we got a uh, new love for Capricorn this is for you perhaps or for my Capricorn singles we got the hangman in reverse the two of pentacles in reverse the seven of pentacles in reverse the ten of ones in the reverse the devil Capricorn energy in the reverse overall energy please thank you spirit the queen of ones they told me to get one more and one more then thank you spirit and the six of swords and that reverse so at the bottom the nine of ones and the five of swords so it's pretty much telling you that you should be enjoying uh your single life because there's a lot of uh trauma and damage and hurt that you need to work on um right now you should focus on yourself focus in self-love that is also new love um with a hangman right now they're telling you that you're not in a position perhaps emotionally uh, you are emotionally unavailable even if you don't realize to start something new because you're not really balanced and within with that said um, If you go to different relationships, you're gonna go like with different people not really being able to connect and you might be blaming it on Oh this person that person but at the end of the day um, It means that you're not it's just like you're not emotionally available and by forcing it It's just not gonna pay off for you, you know With the seven of pentacles right here 
um, if on July, you're going to have a lot of people wanting to ask you out or they're going to be asking you out. And you might not even like none of that. And that is fine. If you don't like the people who ask you out or perhaps you're not interested in them, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. You don't have to force yourself by going out with them because you want because they like you. No. If you're not interested in whoever asks you out, you should not feel guilty or forced to get them to get out with them or to go out with them because it's not how it works. If it feels like you have to force yourself to have a good time or to be with somebody, they're not the person, okay? With the ten of ones right here, um, little by little you're gonna let go of that weight on your shoulder, whatever that is. But right now you're still carrying it a little bit. And like I said before, if you feel like a lot of like heaviness and you're not feeling that person, it don't matter. You don't have to take them because this everybody has free will. And love is something mutual. Attraction is something mutual, not something that is forced or implemented. So honey boo, don't feel guilty, don't feel bad if whoever ask you out does not match your energy or it's not just your type because everybody has a type you know so i feel like in july a lot of people are going to ask you out but they're not going to be the one for you because with the ten of ones as again uh, you're still a little bit uh on the healing process you know with a devil in reverse you are dealing with a lot you know and you're dealing with a lot of things that has happened to you and you're little by little getting out of it and that's amazing so don't be so hard on yourself there's no need to rush anything for a relationship no matter how what your age is it don't really matter because pe whoever is meant for you they're gonna find their way to you don't matter how long how long it takes and look at this by the end with the queen of wands right here in october perhaps you're gonna meet somebody but anyways it's pretty much telling you that you have to put yourself first you have to love yourself first you have to take care of yourself nurture yourself take care of yourself be kind to yourself for you to get back to the person that you used to be rebuild yourself and whenever that happens look you're gonna be able to move move away and walk away from the past and the past is not gonna be memorized or you know whenever you remember the past is not gonna be something painful it's gonna be like oh it was a lesson because it has happened to me before you know but right now they're telling you right here that in july you're gonna have a lot of people but a lot of people asking you out you might not like them and perhaps it means that you might not that it might not work but do not worry because the main person that is meant for you is going to come around october october ish or number 10 whatever that is for you but that is the right person and if you are going to meet somebody if you are meeting somebody this month that might not work out that might end up being a friendship because your person is going to come around october okay and also they're telling you to put a lot of self worth uh, self worth self love because you need it everybody needs self love you know when we put ourselves first we show people that we don't we don't settle for less you know so that is awesome this is for my singles and for whoever wants new love now we're gonna take a look at your career okay Capricorn so what do we have for my Capricorn's uh, career here please and thank you spirit so we got the five of swords in reverse the seven of swords in the judgment card so whoever is harassing you at work if you have a bad manager a bad co-worker um with the seven of swords uh the answer is not to quit the answer is not to quit um because you don't you have done nothing wrong with the judgment right here telling you that the answer is to talk to hr or to talk to whoever is on the top chain you know on the top pyramid because every boss has a boss you know so it's telling you right here that the that if you have nothing to lose if you have nothing to hide you don't need to run away or leave a job that you're good at or that you like if that's the case that you should talk to somebody that is above whoever is bothering you and that should be it that should be taken care of and if you have to do it a couple of times do it a couple of times maybe get some guidance outside tarot you know maybe look some for some legal guidance you know um but that is one of the things i'm getting with the hero fun right here and the temperance right here it's telling you right here that um yes 
it might take a little bit but they're gonna help you out with a situation a person is gonna be let go or put in their place you know because some people don't know boundaries for others of you if you are expecting a promotion or a race it's gonna happen down the line it's not gonna happen right away so it's gonna take a little bit longer so that could feel like a little bit like a bummer but it's not because it's going to happen it's just not gonna happen now if you were expecting uh, to get that interview, I don't see that happening, unfortunately. With the Ten of Pentacles, like I said again, if you're expecting for a race or a promotion, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to happen uh, past, like um, the, after October. With the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords right here. Like I said before, if you were manifesting, unfortunately, like... I want to race now. I want this now. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna feel like a heartbreak. We got also Scorpio. It could be happening that race or that promotion around November as well. So um, be away. Uh, November. It could be October, November, December. You know around that time. With the Two of Cups right here. Can we clarify the Two of Cups, please? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands right here. And the sun card yeah I know that like you really wanted that promotion or you really wanted that that interview to go better you know but with the 901s right here it's saying to not feel bad it's just like it was not meant for you whatever it is it was just not meant for you that's why it did not happen with the sun we got the bottom with the sun card and ten of cups and ace of cups right here I feel like sorry we got Hold on, please, oh, please. Something connected to the 19th. I'm not sure if it's 19 of this month or something, but something for, uh, connected with, I hear 10, 19 is going to be the month for you and the day for you to get your achievements. Um, I'm just going to be straightforward and be like, okay, I don't see a lot of changes happening right now. I don't see a lot of promotions happening right now. I see you getting a, a house or moving to, in a new place. Uh, within like it's gonna take a couple of months I'm not gonna lie in that promotion or that new job is gonna take a couple of months if you're expecting a specific work place or a specific job if you are wanting to start your own business or starting a career in online or anything it's not gonna take off that quickly it's gonna take a little sacrifice and it depends how much how committed you are to your dreams and to your desires that is how successful it's going to be but I'm telling you here that is worth waiting for and at the end of the day all your efforts and sacrifice is gonna pay off but again I don't see it into like maybe winter time you know let's see let's see I'm gonna ask just in case if you're getting a, a new car or something is there anything else like are they getting a new car or moving or so One more, please. So, unfortunately, no, I don't see you uh, getting a car right now. I'm just giving you, like, messages, okay? If you were expecting that promotion to get that car, that car is not going to happen. If you're expecting that promotion to buy something as a gift or something, it's just not going to happen. And it's telling you right here that it's not wise to do it because you might be really short in money and you might need it. Um, it's telling you right here to be more wise when it, when it comes to spending money and saving money because again money runs out you know you don't want to run out of money i see uh if you have a car i'm just getting spirit to uh spirit messages if you are if you have a car i still need to keep up with the maintenance maintenance i'm sorry the maintenance because it could break down on you and it could be really expensive and that's why they're telling you also to be expect um to be expecting to be really really careful really careful on how much how, how you spend your money um pretty much if you don't need it don't buy it but please if you have your car you need to keep up with the maintenance because if you have if you don't your car is gonna break down and you're gonna be carless and that is a fact um you might have issues with a neighbor so like i said before if that happens don't confront them or so because that puts you in a really dangerous and bad situation please let a landlord or somebody know but with the three of pentacles right here as well and the lovers and beavers please do not make unex um unnecessary spending so if that house if you want a house or an apartment is 
it feels like it's too much or it's like over your budget do not do it because you could re like you could regret it okay so that is the best advice i can give you also i'm getting this from spirit whoever is avoiding to go to the doctor please go check up with your daily stuff make like your own maintenance you know body the body needs maintenance so don't avoid going to the doctor get it checked and because the sooner you find out the sooner it's easier for and anything to be treated the good the bad you know i'm not telling you anything specific this is just like just take care of your health a little bit more as well you know so let's see what messages do we have from your angels what can you give me for capricorn please and thank you so we have three cards we got gentleness and it says be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments then we got this right here it says notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people and then angel therapy it says give your uh, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens at the bottom of the deck we got gifts from god gifts from god we angel bring your gifts from the creator open your arms to receive so look at that you are protected and loved so you guys know that i love giving numbers this could be numerology what you need to do is pretty much go online and look at the meaning of this number you can go always as spiritual meaning of the number you can look it up as angel number such and with that said let's get a number for capricorn let's get a number for capricorn okay that was quick so we got number 30 oh my goodness number 36 number 36 it is your number you can also always add them up i have people who do that and then we got six seven eight nine it could be either or 36 or number nine let your intuition help you choose which one is the number for you and before i go i'm gonna give you a prayer this is for whoever believes in prayer prayers and likes them if you're not that person please let it go there's no need to announce it just let that go because my readings like i tell everybody's for everybody everybody's taste everybody's needs everybody's guidance right so we got today's prayer and this is matthew 17 20 and it says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed nothing will be impossible for you so you have to keep up and have faith in the god creator the universe whatever it is that you believe believing it because you're not alone and before i go i want to thank everybody for sticking around please like and subscribe as you guys know this is a growing channel so i do appreciate the love and support let my channel let my channel grow so i can do this more often again thank you so much i'm so thankful for every single one of you i hope i was able to help you out like i said before please like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with more readings blessings bye